Welcome back guys. In this new video, we're going to take a look at pressure. Exactly what is pressure and what causes pressure. So, we're going to say that pressure is just defined as the force exerted per unit of a surface area. On the right side, we have a container. Inside of this container, is we, we have these black balls. We're going to say these black balls represent individual gas particles. And we're going to say that from these black balls, we have arrows pointing in different directions. Those arrows are basically showing us the direction that the gas particles are taking. Gases move in a linear fashion. They move in a straight line. And so they're going to be moving in this container, bouncing everywhere, bouncing off, off one another and bouncing off the walls of the container. The pressure that the container has, the total pressure inside, is the result of each of these gas particles hitting the walls of the container. That's what it is. Pressure equals the force, the impact that these gas particles are doing on the walls inside of the container. That's all pressure is. So we're going to say pressure is the force of collisions, the force of each one of these gas particles hitting the walls of the container, adding them up, and dividing it by the total area inside of the container. That's what pressure really is. And we're going to say here that the SI unit for pressure, when we talk about pressure, is the Pascal. And we're going to say the units for the Pascal are Newtons over meters squared. Okay. Now, we're going to say the SI unit of force is the Newton. So this capital N that we talked about just a second ago. And we're going to say the units for the Newton are kilograms times meters over seconds squared. So just remember those two SI units. That can easily be a theory question that your professor asks you. 